Hey folks, welcome to allthingsdentistry.com. Ashley here with you. I'm just doing the voiceover. I finally got a chance. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're finalizing the uh, placement of the IV loops. And of all the footage I got, this is about the clearest that I had. You can see the rest of the IV loops placed uh, in the posterior of his uh, mouth. So what we're doing is I'm pulling the IV loop through the interdental papilla below the contact. And now I'm going to bring one half through the adjacent, um, below the adjacent contact. That's my dental assistant's uh, Hagar forceps. Now you're going to see what's happening is that right now it's getting bunged up because there's a kink in the wire. This is 24 gauge wire. So it's really helpful to have another set of hands to just try to straighten it as you pull it forward and then it'll come. So the fracture is between the two premolars on the right side and it's been about an hour and a half so he's starting to feel some pain. He's not sedated, just local anesthesia. And here I am unkinking it. Okay, now we're going to pull it through. Now what we're going to do is take the loose end that is held by the forcep right now and bring it underneath the eyelet of the IV loop and tie the two loose ends together. This acts as an anchor to then fix fixate the maxilla with the mandible. So in this video I don't show at the end uh, making it into a rosette. Uh, the loose ends, once they're t twisted together, uh, you twist it like they're uh, the rosette, the little things you see in the background. And if you take a look at one of the other posts, I'll show you how to do this. So twisting, I'm not doing a lot of pulling, I should be, and the problem is this is going to stretch over the weekend and it's going to be loose. Uh, again, he's starting to feel some pain and he's really maxed out at uh, local anesthesia. We're going to clip and then like I said, it's, I'm not going to show it here, but you want to take this wire and use a pickle fork to make it into 